James has something going on, so I just jumped in the car, drove over here to make sure that I see my friend James. James is a, a member of BART, and uh, the reason why I think he's, it's very important to get him back in there because he's a very stable, uh, clear thinking person that looks at issues in a very honest and forthright way. He doesn't lean one way because of ideology or because of politics or your party politics or anything else like that. He looks at the, the business of making sure that BART runs well, that it's efficient, but it also takes care of its, its people, the people that make it run and to make it safe and make it efficient. So it's a very positive kind of a vision of what BART should be. On top of that, you know, I represent Silicon Valley, and Bart's coming right up to Silicon Valley now. Finally. I need him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need him to uh, help finish the Bart project. And right after this piece that we're doing right now, you know, they got us $900 million. That's, that's 13,000 permanent jobs. And a lot of people, blue collar, white collar, professionals, architects, everybody gets jobs with them. But on top of that, the next step is a $4 billion piece. It goes to underground to San Jose to Santa Clara. So you really, uh, your investment in him and him being on BART board is going to pay return on your investment many, many, many times uh, now and in the future. Because you know that uh, rail and high speed rail like BART is one of the most important concepts to go around the whole Bay area. So I'm very proud of him that when he was younger, he was on the board, and he made it to the board, and he made his name. And now he's a little bit older. A little heavier. Much younger, much younger than me. So you know, he has <coughs> two days ahead of him to, uh, to, to serve uh, this big area. So I'm very pleased that I'm here, and I'm very pleased that you're here to support him. And so why don't we just put our hands together and give you know, James, the kind of uh, welcome in his own hall. And Forrest, thank you for uh, inviting me. Thank you for coming.
但是因为这个呃，康德生在，我还是一位问吧。<笑><笑><笑>但是我也可以做一场酒了。中文是可能有一三还。美国主声口音，所以呢，大家听不清楚呢，所以呢，我也就还是讲英文吧。为什么 ？Mike, I said that I was going to speak in Mandarin, but you're bailing me out because you don't speak much Chinese. And my Chinese is not that good, so I'm using you as an excuse to speak in English. No, I am impressed. I am impressed. So I want to say, first of all, thank you very much for coming. Uh, it is really an honor, uh, and in the end, to show the support uh, that people feel about me and the work that I do in my heart. When I got onto the bar board, much like Mike Honda, Mike, how long have you been in Congress? 14 years. I've been on 24 years. And some people say that we're, we have too much experience, we have too old, this and that. I disagree. We now have learned the system. Yeah. so well that we can use this experience to do things for the people that we represent. And while it is, oops, me, and while it is true that we, all, we are all open to new ideas, understanding the system and making it work for the people we represent is really most important. When I got on the BART board in 1990, when I was first elected, the ridership at BART was about 220,000 passenger trips a day, and we were operating at about 85% on-time performance. Today, we've almost doubled that. We have 420,000 passenger trips a day, and the on-time efficiency is at 95%. That's good. Minority local 
to bid on this. This is what they call unbundling. This is what Bartas has to do and continue to do. For some of you that are in the construction engineering business, one of the big problems is bonding. Bonding. You gotta put a bond. Because when you bid on a project, Bart has to understand that if something goes wrong, who is responsible? Well, you buy a bond so that Bart does. But sometimes the bonds can be very, very cost prohibitive to a lot of the construction and engineer folks. Simply because it's not just paying the bond fee, you need collateral to back the bond. Because Bart has a new program, which I help pioneer. If you're bidding on a project that's under a million dollars, no bond is required. If a project is five million and under five to one to five million dollars, BART will provide the collateral for you. So we are trying to outreach to a lot of these businesses, and I think this is a very important step that we're doing. The final thing I would like to say, in particular, because of Francisco, of course my mother, and the international component that the congressman brings, is BART is always looking for partners on contracts. Particularly, obviously, everything must be within the law. We are very active in seeking out different partners, international partners, to work with our local folk, local partners here in the Bay Area on a variety of great projects that we have. Uh, for example, we have the Hayward Yard that's going to be half a billion dollars coming down the road. We don't know how we're going to pay for it. But if there are companies from China that are interested in working with us and American companies, it must be a partnership. We are particularly interested in the financing component of some of these things and how that may work. It's not just construction, there's a lot of other projects going on. So we are very interested in bringing that capital and know-how into the Bay Area so that we can put a different face on transit as we look forward to it. I just saw, uh, he just came in, my brother Ted, who has been absolutely instrumental and I love that shirt. Thank you for coming. <laughs> is the goalie of his soccer team over at yeah. uh, Sierra High, at Sierra High. So we are very excited as I approach my seventh term, this will be my seventh term, uh, on doing a lot of great things. We've done a lot of great things and we're going to do a lot of great things. So I want to say thank you very much, thank you very much, and uh, very much appreciate your support. Thank you.